Hey everybody, this is Dr. Wiesman, Superintendent of the Belvedere Community Unit School District 100. August is always a busy time of the year, especially with registration. We've been allowing families to register earlier in the year with hopes that we would be able to have less late registrations and surprises. Although it's helped, it still gets pretty crazy as new students come into the district right before school starts. In the last week, for example, we've had over 100 new students register with us. That's great, but creates some complexities with scheduling, especially at the elementary schools. So I thought I'd take some time to explain how complex scheduling is and how we try to balance needs of students, needs of teachers, needs of families, and fiscal responsibility. This is what we usually think of when we look at classroom max sizes in elementary schools. It's pretty straightforward. This isn't what class sizes actually look like, but rather the maximum. This is an example of how a slight shift in student enrollment can change dramatically how school is staffed. Here we've got five extra students each in kindergarten, first, and second grades, and five less students each in third, fourth, and fifth grades. You'll notice that class sizes change. It puts kindergarten, first, and second grades over their class maximum of 25. So to address that, we now have to open a new section in each of the younger three grades. Notice that the total enrollment for the school doesn't even change. The 5% shift in enrollment happens between grade levels in the same school. But even though total enrollment stays the same, we have a 13% increase in classroom teachers needed for the school. This amounts to a shift of a little more than $200,000 in added expenditures on salary and benefits. In the last week, we've had over 100 new students register. These are new to the district, and the number of new students to the district is hard to predict each year. The real struggle, though, is that the new registrations hit our schools differently. Caledonia, Meehan, and Washington, for example, are being impacted the most this year, as their registrations have increased by 2, 3, and 4% just in the last two weeks. The new enrollments also impact grade levels differently. Most of our new enrollments in the last week have been in first grade, and hardly any are in fourth grade. And to make it more complex, although Mean is getting a large number of new students, as I just explained on the previous slide, none of those are first graders, unlike the rest of the district where we have the highest new enrollment numbers. We try not to be stingy as a district and max out our classroom sizes. As of the beginning of August, we have a lot of open seats throughout the district in different schools and different grade levels. They just are not distributed equally among schools or grades or where we need them. Because we don't know where the unexpected will show up every year, this means we are doing a lot of scrambling in August as those unexpected pieces start to fall into place. The simplest way to not have to scramble would be to add elementary teachers at each grade level at each school. This is something that's often suggested to me because it would decrease class sizes throughout the district and we would have to make almost no changes in August. But adding an additional grade level teacher at each school would cost us almost $2.5 million a year. If you factor in the additional art, PE, and music teachers needed to redesign schedules for those schools, we are almost at $3 million a year, and I don't think we even have that many physical classroom city empty. This is a complex puzzle every year, and our administrators and office professionals put a lot of effort to make these tweaks throughout August. I appreciate that work and believe that effort allows us to use our resources effectively in other areas. I hope this quick video helps you understand a little about how we are making decisions about resource allocation in the district. Thanks for watching.